we are going to discuss powers key rearrangement it's a very interesting reaction what do we want we want here alpha haloketone so the starting compound is alpha haloketone when this alpha haloketone is treated with base or base catalyst it gives carboxylic acid or acid derivatives like ester amides so alpha haloketones are converted into carboxylic acid or its derivatives like ester or amide in presence of base catalyst is called powerski rearrangement now see i have given here a general alpha haloketone so this ketone is there carbonyl group next to carbonyl group is alpha carbon this is also alpha so at alpha carbon there must be halogen so if there is halogen present at alpha carbon we can have this reaction now see what happen in powerski rearrangement when this is treated with base like koh or noh so what you just listen here one more important thing that whatever alkyl group r3 is there there must be at least one alpha hydrogen one alpha hydrogen is required it is must now see how to write its product this r you have to change its position whatever group is here you bring it at the position of cl remove that cl so this position is vacant and if you are using koh you have to use that okay part of koh and join at the position of r so this okay is coming here and r is now r3 is taking the position of cl3 so you got here acid salt carboxylic acid salt but if you are using another base instead of koh or noh if you are using sodium ethoxide so again doing the same thing you have to select that part this portion of the sodium ethoxide doing the same thing whatever group is attached here you just bring it at the position of cl and where this position is vacant so you have to join this part of this so of this base of this base here at the position of r so i have shown here by using this circle so in this way you can have ester suppose you are using amine so if you are using amine the reaction is same whatever group is attached here you have to bring that group at the position of halogen remove that halogen and for if you are using amine you have to bring that part of amine from n at the position of r3 so that i have shown by using a red circle so you will get this product and you can see here this is amide so in this way if you follow this pattern if you follow this trick you can predict the product of first rearrangement here r3 is going to rearrange this group is going to take its new position and the whole molecule is now rearranged with uh, another functional group so this is uh, the beauty of this first rearrangement i have taken here one example to understand you just see here if you follow this pattern you can see here ah uh, uh, this halogen is here at the alpha position ketonic group is there so it is ketone having alpha halogen and you can see as i mentioned there must be one alpha halogen so this is alpha halogen another alpha halogen two alpha halogen okay it is qualified for the fewers key rearrangement now whatever group is attached here you circle it you bring it at the position of cl so this is brought here at the position of cl now this position is vacant and you just watch which base you are going to use if you are using sodium ethoxide so ethoxy group you can you can bring at the position of this group this i i i circle here so definitely you are getting ester so ester is produced sodium is going to join with this cl that is another product now if the compound is cyclic if alpha halo ketone is cyclic then what to do you just it's very simple this next this is carbonyl group you identify carbonyl group next to this is alpha and this is another alpha having alpha hydrogen so this is qualified for first key rearrangement now as i mentioned this group moves to the uh, where uh, this carbon alpha carbon next carbon it is actually moving from this carbonyl carbon to the alpha carbon and taking the position of cl so which group this group in cyclic it is somehow difficult uh this group will move 
to the alpha carbon will take the position of cm that means this group will move means what this bond will break and this bond will move in between this carbon and this carbon and you have to remove cl now this position is vacant this position is actually vacant this is vacant so that will take the position of ok because you are using koh now in this way this is a five membered ring but when we break this bond that will become four membered ring so now this is the newly migrated bond from this carbonyl carbon to the alpha carbon this is alpha carbon and you can see here uh, uh, add the carbonyl carbon add the carbonyl carbon if you are removing this group if you are removing if you are breaking this bond you must bring another bond inside that okay so this bond is produced so in this way you can form a uh, salt of carboxylic acid you can form a salt of carboxylic acid now I'll discuss the mechanism of this now I'll discuss the mechanism of this reaction you can use uh, either KOH, NaOH or sodium ethoxide or primary amine, secondary amine, any, 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 any base you can use. Uh, I am considering here KOH as a base for this mechanism. As I mentioned earlier, in this alpha ketone there must be alpha hydrogen. So you can see here there are two alpha hydrogen which are more acidic. So these are acidic because they are very close to electron withdrawing group carbonyl group now the OH of KOH this base will abstract this acidic proton by using one of the three lone pairs available on the oxygen so if this pair is used to form bond with this hydrogen this pair this bond pair will go on this carbon alpha carbon to form carbanium so in this way the first step is formation of carbanium which is stabilized by resonance so you can draw resonance by moving this bond in between carbonyl carbon and alpha carbon and you can open this bond on the oxygen so in fact this negative charge is delocalized the negative charge is migrated from this carbon to oxygen and we get this more stable structure so this is the point is this carbanion is stabilized due to resonance and our first step is generation of carbanion, generation of nucleophile. You can say it is nucleophile. Even you can say carbanion. So this carbanion is produced and you can see here water is produced if you are using KOH as a base. Now see, they, what happens? This carbanion or you may call it as a nucleophile because of negative charge. And you can see here very close, very close at another alpha carbon, there is halogen, there is living group. So this is in fact intramolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. Now this is acting as a nucleophile. So this is acting as a nucleophile. It is attacking from this side and simultaneously Cl is removed. In fact it is like SN2 attack. And we get there a cyclic intermediate. So this new bond is formed by using this pair and Cl is removed by using this bond. So there were three lone pairs and one more lone pair is coming from this bond so Cl will be negative and that will go with this Na positive as a NaCl so this intermediate you can see here tricyclic compound I mean three membered ring C, Cl, Cl, Cl is produced you can see here we can have we have sorry we have lot of nucleophiles lot of nucleophiles in the reaction mediums so one nucleophile OH is now coming here it is acting as a base but here it is acting as a nucleophile you can see here this will prefer now this carbon this carbon carbonyl carbon which is having positive charge so you move you form a bond by using lone pair of electron and you can open this bond if bond is open negative charge will form on this oxygen and this bond is formed but if the carbonyl uh, group is restored this bond is restored this double bond is formed you can you can break either this bond or this bond you can break either this bond or this bond but this bond is uh, this bond or this bond so we get here this this another carbanion so you can have this another carbanion because we get that product so this carbanion is generated this carbanion is generated and this carbanion was generated uh, we will move toward the next step 
Now, in the next step, you can see here, which is very close, there are two possibilities, very close to this carboxylic group. So, it can abstract this proton or it may take that proton from another uh, molecule, from another ion or it may take this proton from the water because water is also acting as an acid depending on the pKa value of this, this moiety. Now, see, this is, uh, so that that will not discuss here because uh, it is not the point to discuss here where, from where this proton is coming either from here or from water so it will take up this proton and we get here CH2 bond and if it is taken here either from here or from another molecule so we get this ion this negative charge anion and you can uh, you know this is instead of Na I should have written here K because I am using KOH. So K will come here to join uh, with this negative charge and if you acidify, if you add dilute acid at the end of this reaction, so you will get this carboxylic acid. So in this way, you can prepare uh, ester, you can prepare amide, you can try a different mechanism by using this different basis uh, and you can have the mechanism of first carrier as well. So that's it. Thank you so much.